Hey everyone, it must have occurred to you that you want to rig and animate the character, but realize that the character is not designed for the rig and animate, and eventually your animation will have problems when rotating the joints. So in this video I want to talk about how you can prepare characters for rigging. Well, I opened the file that I've downloaded from Freepik. Since I need this character, I select the rest cut them and paste them into a new layer using Ctrl Shift V and hide it. First of all I need to set the artboard. Isolate the character and resize it. After doing so it's time to separate the different parts of the character and put them in individual layers. I don't need this back, so I delete it. I cut this part of the arm, paste it into a new layer, and name it right arm. Then I do the same for the rest of the parts, and put them in individual layers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. For her hand, I use this layer. After that's done, I need to save the file. Then I go to After Effects and import the intended file. I import it as a composition and layer size. Afterward, I go to the comp. I don't need this layer anymore. I also hide the left leg and left arm for now. Now I have to work on creating the different parts of the leg. I select the right leg and convert it to shape. To create joints properly, first I need to select the layer and choose the ellipse tool and here is where the thigh joint should be placed so I make a circle right here. It should exactly fit the leg shape. I disable the stroke. I move down a little bit. The knee part should be around right here. So I make another circle here. I change its color so it would be obvious. Then I go for creating the joint of the ankle. It should be made right here. Then I duplicate this layer twice and specify the different parts of the leg. In the layer of the thigh, I remove the shapes that I don't need. I create a point here and another one here, and I remove these parts. I also create a point here and another here and move it a little and I delete these. I don't need this. Then I change the color of the joint to the color of the main layer.
For the shin part, I don't need the thigh parts, so I delete them. I change the color of the joints to the color of their side shapes. Well, let's work on the foot part. I delete the unnecessary shapes. I unhide the shoe layer and convert it to shape. Then I copy its shapes and paste them into the right foot layer and I place them right where they should be. Then I delete the previous layer. Okay, after that, I should place the anchor points right in the center of the joints. For doing so, I just have to hide all the shapes except for the joints. Then I hold Ctrl and double click on the pan behind tool. As you can see, the anchor point will be placed right in the center of the shape. Then I can unhide the layers. I do the same for these joints as well. As you see, once I rotate the joints, I don't face any problems at all. To prevent this, I put this above the shin layer. Then I parent the shin layer to the thigh layer and the foot layer to the shin layer. Then I rotate the leg so it would be in a straight line. After doing so, I duplicate the layers and use them for the left leg. I move it forward right here. And for it to have a different color, I add the level effect to it. I paste the same effect for the other layers as well. I also have to remove this line. Okay, after that, I also have to create the hip part. To do so, I convert the body layer into a shape. I delete the previous layer. I unhide these, isolate the body layer and create the hip. I move this leg a little further so it would match with the hip. The anchor point of the body should be right here. Okay, the next thing is working on the arms. As you can see here the joints are circular shapes, but the problem is that it's not possible to place the anchor points precisely in the center of the joint. For fixing this, I need to convert it to shape and add a circle right here. After doing so, I can easily place the anchor point in the center of the joint. I do the same for the knee and the ankle. And now once I rotate the hand, it works well. The problem here is that the size of the arm doesn't match with the forearm, so I need to fix this. For doing so, isolate the arm shape. 
and delete this point and make it smaller. So it would be the same size as this joint. If you give it a look, you can see that it's working properly. I delete this shape too. Then I pattern the hand to the forearm and the forearm to the arm and place them in a straight line. Then I duplicate these layers and use them for the left arm. I move the layers right here. Then I place them under the leg layers. Oh, I missed a point that I should have separated the toes as well. For doing so, I duplicate this layer and name it toes. Then I solo these two shapes. Firstly, I make the toes part. Its anchor point should be placed right here. I unhide this layer. This part of the foot has to rotate this much, so I need to extend this shape up until here. And now once I rotate it, you can see that there wouldn't be any sort of problem. Okay, I have to do the same for the other foot too. And the anchor point of the head should be right here. And finally, if you are interested in character reading and you want to learn how to read all character parts and the expressions which are needed in this context and once for all make yourself needless in reading the character, I recommend you watch this course. By the link that I put in the description, you can get the course for half the price.